New York, Joan Rivers. Up next, little entrepreneurs who've made it really big in big business. Today we continue our week-long salute to exceptional, ch exceptional children. I want you to meet two of the youngest entrepreneurs I have ever met. With me is eight-year-old Mary Rodas. She is the vice president of marketing at the Catco Toy Company, and she helped fine-tune this product. It's called a Balzac, which is the latest rage in toy stores, okay? It's a balloon and a pretty cover, okay? Next to her is sitting Tommy Ty. He is eight years old, but at the age of five, he said, I gotta get busy here, and he created <laughs> this bumper sticker to promote world peace in our time. The popular bumper sticker has had its way to such, we're going its way to such leaders as Mikhail Gorbachev and George Bush, who I'm sure is writing you a thank you note. Will you please welcome child entrepreneurs Mary Rodas and Tommy Ty. Have a nice to have you on. Okay, Mary. Let's start with you. What do you do in marketing? Well, I do marketing with other kids and with all my classmates and see what they react with my product. So you, you are, you, this toy company gives you things to look at and decide whether or not kids would like them. Well, first I look at them and give my point of view from just the first results, what I think of it. Then later on I just go back to it and give more ideas. And when the product is finished, I just take it to school and just want to see how my friends would react with it. Now, for example, how much do you make for this? Uh, the thing is, I don't have a normal salary as everybody else. I have a salary by having my high school and college education paid for me, and I even have my own stock portfolio. A stock portfolio? How old? Fourteen. You're fourteen now? Yes. And you started at nine? No. Eight? Four. Four? <laughs> what, how did it happen? How did you get started? Uh, well, the thing is, uh, right next door neighbor is an inventor who lives Donald Spector. So I got to know him by my father, who's a super assistant. Because one day I went over his house looking for my father, and I saw my father putting bathroom tiles on the floor. So I was seeing how my father was doing the tiles. Then I went, I went to see what Donald was doing. He was doing it in the kitchen, behind the door. So he was doing it the job all wrong. And so that I criticized him. I told on his wife, and then I told on my father, which my father uh, fixed it later on. So he figured it's a smart kid. And you've done things like they show you, can I, uh, for example, they show you this toy, right? And they said to you, can we get a close-up? What do you think of this toy? And you said, kids aren't going to like this toy because... Because it had a beauty mark then. Had a stupid-looking beauty mark, okay? Yeah. So you said change it to... Can you see this? Can we get a close Yeah. Change it to this. And you just gave it a funny pink nose, right? And it sold big bucks. Very good. Now, uh, <laughs> let's, get, let's get to you for a second. You were old already. She was four. You were five, Tommy, when this happened, right? You, what made you decide to go out and sell stickers for cars? Well, when it all started, I had National Peace Week in kindergarten, and um, I came home, and I was watching the news, and when I was watching the news, they were, it was talking about a lot of wars, and so I went into my room and I decided to make the bumper sticker to stop all of the wars. So now, but you printed them up, so you had to get money for it, right? How much do you charge for these? A dollar fifty each. And how many have you sold? Um, a thousand five hundred, somewhere around there. Whoa! So what do you do with the money? Well, um, I some of it I have to pay off a grant, so um, because I got a grant from. Uh, Mark Victor Hansen, who has a children's free, called a children's free enterprise, and he gives money out to kids who have um, entrepreneurship in a business, and so they, so he gave me the money, and I bought a thousand bumper stickers for my fir first batch. They're just great. And, and then I sold, sold them. them. So now, are you kids going to continue working? Mm -hmm. Are you going to keep on with the, the toy company? Yes. And you're going to keep on with bumper stickers? Yes. Now I know we want to give each of you a gift. I heard the toy company picks you up in a limousine. Yes. And a TV's in it. Yes. So I got you a subscription to TV Guide. So you drive <laughs> to and from work, you can watch that. And I heard that you're into peace and you were very interested in the Berlin Wall. 
<laughs> so we got you a piece of the Berlin Wall. Okay? Thank you both very much. Good luck to both of you. We'll be right back.